at 19 metres. Aha, we're back to the track for the 1500. Okay, so some tasty action with a 145 from uh, El Gessi of Morocco, meeting record in the uh, 800. But those records have been falling quickly like a deck of cards. Seen a few of the uh, on running vests. So, George Mills, we saw a moment ago, who was unlucky not to get selection for the World Athletics Championships. But it was an event where there were lots of his teammates with the standard. There's uh, Elzan Bibic, always a great athlete to watch. Someone who's terrific, winning a, a pair of events at the European Team Championships. The second time he's done that. And he's only in his mid 20s and uh, joining an elite group of athletes who've won at least five events at the European teams. The, the others, the likes of uh, Amotuka, of course, is more experienced. Headbands have been successful so far. Why not pick out the Dutch runner Mike Foppin there, right on the inside? But really interesting to see how this race goes. You've got Joachim Vermoulen, Belgian indoor champion, Roman Mornay of France, 334, last month in Montesson. A lot of French meetings recently, they've been a, a very high standard, and as a result, particularly some of the middle distance runners have started to see great, great depth on those uh, French lists for 2023. A couple of Americans in this as well. Cooper Tier, NCAA 5000 winner a couple of years ago. So George Mills at the sharp end of this race then. We wait to see how it unfolds here at the Citius meeting in Bern. So also going nicely is Baptiste Michler, one of the French athletes. So there he is, a couple behind Mills. So 140 and change unofficially with two laps to go. And a good pace is being set here. It's setting them up for some fast times if they can maintain this momentum. Mills at the moment looking very good indeed. Just wondering whether he's coming here with a point to prove. Although the strength in depth of the British 1500 metres contingent is reminiscent of those halcyon days in the mid 80s through to the early 90s. There's so many good runners at the moment and there's a good number of them who missed out on selection for Budapest. But Mills sitting pretty at the moment in second place. And just looking around at the... Seeing how things are going. And the pacemaker eases over now with 500 metres to go. And it's Mills at the front. He's looking up at the big scoreboard at the far end. And he's coming up at the bell. And it's Britain's George Mills leading as they go into the last lap. Yes, you can see here this uh, breakaway of four athletes led by George Mills here. Elzan Bibic also in the mix. And looks like Tom Elmer of Switzerland, second on the road. And the LC Zurich Club. Still this group of four athletes fighting around this uh, last lap. So, yes, George Mills whether it's a point to prove or the fact that he is in just great form and can surely try and take this opportunity. Look at those behind trying to fight. Bel Elzan Bibic loves to front run. Finding himself further back on this occasion. Bibic round the outside. Watch for this kick now. Can Mills respond? Will he have to? Coming through right on the inside as well. Bibic now. What a gear that was. Really pushed down the accelerator into the finish. 3.34.22 on the clock to obliterate that meeting record into history. Well, I'll have to check. That's a big personal best by Elzan Bibic and a meeting record as well. I think that might also be a Serbian record. I just need to check there. But Elmer coming through 
That was a superb run from Tom Elmer. Again, a personal best for him as well. Both Bibic and Elmer taking about a second off their personal best, coming home strongly down the home straight. I think Bibic, uh, well, just catching his breath there, but that was a superb run from the Serbian. Well, he's really started to come through very strongly this year, this year as we look at a repeat of... George Bill pushing very, very hard with 300 metres to go. But then Elzen Bibic just goes through the gears. Said 300 metres to go. The overhead shot a little bit deceptive. I should have said 100. But Bibic, those long strides just eating up the ground. Elmer coming through on the inside. Mills left himself open to attack on both sides. But still a good run from Mills as well in third place. Not very far from his personal best either, despite having to settle for third place on the run-in. Well, Elzan Bibic, who already has the Serbian 3,000 record from 2021, 5,000 record from last year, has now broken the 1,500 Serbian record. It's been held since 1983 by Dragan Zdravkovic of 3.34.85, and he's taken over half a second off it. So, wow. It was set at the European Cup final in Prague some, what's that, 40 years ago. Almost to the day, yes. I mean, Elzen Bibic obviously wasn't even born and by a very long way at that point. I wonder if his parents were watching that European Cup final in those days. <laughs> It was old Yugoslavia as well. Now, Yugoslavia produced some fine middle distance runners in their time, uh, but none more so on time than Elzan Bivic with that new Serbian 1500 meter record. There he is. The uh, flag has slipped down a little bit down his vest, but I'm sure it'll be.